Welcome to another Texas in Conversation. I'm Maria Merchant, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Distribution at Texas. Today, I'll be speaking with Janik Colomb, Vice President of Finance and Administration at AMG Medical. I'd like to learn a little more about how AMG Medical is continuously improving their distribution operations by leveraging technology, the problems they've solved by moving to a SaaS-based solutions platform, and what the distribution industry looks like in the near future. So thanks for joining me today, Janik. Before we dive into our conversation, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about AMG Medical? AMG Medical manufactures and distributes home health care and medical professional products. The company was founded in 1972 and has the headquarters and distribution center located in Montreal, Canada. I joined EMG two years ago as VP Finance and Administration. What obstacles did EMG Medical have to overcome in the recent years uh, to achieve their overall vision? Probably the same as most companies in the pandemic environment, mainly supply chain variability, higher costs, and adapting to remote environment. So speaking of vision, what is the technology vision at AMG Medical and what steps have you taken to make that vision a reality? We started our digital transformation about two years ago. Moving to the cloud has allowed us to centralize data, reduce paper and improve several processes. So why is ERP important to a distributor's supply chain? Um, with the increasing costs and delays, supply chain is more challenging than ever. The ERP is uh, critical to automating demand, optimizing purchasing process, and uh, overall supply chain management. So outside of the ERP, what are some of the benefits you've derived from the Texas Solutions platform? It's really our foundation to our digital transformation. It's allowing us to facilitate the data flow to build a new data mark for better reporting and analytics a new B2B and a new corporate websites. So, uh, Janik, you decided to move uh, from on-premise to SaaS. Can you tell us which problems you were trying to solve with the SaaS conversion? The technology is evolving very fast and uh, staying up to date is uh, difficult. Uh, we hope that being on SaaS will make upgrades easier in the future in a secured environment. And how do you measure the success of a transformation like this? There are several benefits to implement an ERP and perform a successful digital transformation, uh, but our focus will be mainly on increased productivity, improved agility, and increased data transparency. And when we look at warehouse automation, what do you see as the biggest barrier to automating a warehouse and how do you see distributors overcoming that? The capital investment is certainly an important barrier, uh, but truly changing the process and eliminating uh, old habits is sometimes very difficult. Uh, I would say proper training and involving all key users throughout the project are very important. So what trends are you seeing in the distribution industry today and what do the next five years look like? Selling direct to consumers will continue to grow in a very competitive environment. Therefore, value-added services and agility will be essential for, to success. Lastly, what is the one piece of advice you have for a distributor who wants to improve their supply chain operations? I would say improve the flow of information. Getting the right product at the right place as fast as possible is one of the primary goals of supply chain management. It can only be achieved with having the right information at the right time. Janik, thank you very much for your insights today. This has been a very enlightening Texas in Conversation interview. And thank you to our viewers. If you need end-to-end -end technology to support your distribution operations, Texas is here to help. At the end of this video, you have the option to speak to one of our supply chain experts or access an infographic on why top performing organizations run SaaS supply chains. Thank you for watching.